getting cold in my office today. Is my mic working all right? Cool. Why do I study the agile antichinus? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, it's a bit like a once upon a time story, really. Yeah, when I had my first encounter with the Agile, instantly there were hundreds of questions that I wanted answered. The main one was, what are you and why don't I know of your existence? I went looking online for answers, but there was very little information about them. Well, there and then I thought, the only way I'm going to learn about them is to let them teach me how they interact with each other and how they live their lives. And once I started studying them, I found them quite addictive and very entertaining to watch. In the 11 years that I've been studying the Agile, I've learned a lot about them and about myself. But they've also been very good at teaching me a lot of life's lessons. The Agile's motto is, if I can't get it now, I'll come back in a few minutes. So that's lesson one. Keep coming back day after day, no matter what the temperature is or whether it's raining. Eventually, you'll get your questions answered. It may take years, but it will happen. Agiles don't follow the same trails every day. It's pretty random. So you won't know when you'll see them again. That's lesson two. Stop analysing everything, including yourself. That's something I still struggle with even today. But the key point here is to sit back, relax and observe. Some days the Agile will just stay in their nesting sites or come out and disappear into the undergrowth really quickly, leaving you with nothing to do but watch the birds and other wildlife go about their lives. That's lesson three. Enjoy and appreciate every minute that you have with the Agile and nature. That's something I constantly remind myself of. I've almost come to the end of studying the Agile Antichinus. There's really only one thing left. I still need to know more about their mating behaviour. But it looks like I might be out of luck this year. My nesting boxes are both empty for the first time. The breeding season is only four weeks away. And with no females having a communal nesting site in my nesting boxes, I won't have anything to study this year. Well, last year I was lucky enough that the dusky antichinus come into nesting box number two. And I learned a lot about how the dusky brings up their young. But it's not looking good for them either this year. So it's not looking good for studying the Agile Antichinus or the Dusk Antichinus in my reserve this year. But I have a backup plan. I've started studying the Yellow-Footed Antichinus. So I might head back up to winter wetlands once the, the winter breaks a bit, get a nice break in the weather. I might head up there and study them instead.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Me being interviewed. Actually, I've been doing this by myself. So I hope that my acting was good enough that you believed that there was someone standing next to the camera interviewing me. Well, actually, it's not a person. It's a tree. <laughs> so it's just designed for me to be creative and uh, yeah, just come up with a little plan get stuck into it and do it fairly professional didn't want it to be 100% perfect but something that shows off my talents and everything like that so it was designed for two things one to see whether my mojo is back because I can really get myself you know, stuck into something like this uh, I've already explained this in another earlier video during the year but I had a virus at the start of the year and it just took away all my creativity and everything but it's, it's coming back in piles now <laughs> so I'm happy where I'm at and hopefully I can get on with that documentary you know, sit down look at it yeah right this is where I've gone wrong that's what I've been waiting for so I think I'm at that stage now just interrupting I forgot a couple of things don't forget have a look at my book on uh, I'm not a mouse, I'm a marsupial designed for kids. You'll love it, your kids will love it, I guarantee you. There'll be a link in the description below this video if you're interested. And also, what was it? AG. Uh, and I'll splash the rest of your details up here. You have sent me an email I'd love to answer, but I can't because for some reason YouTube have blocked out the link. I can't contact you at all. So that's your name. Send me an email. Go to my about page on my YouTube channel. My email address is there. Send me one. I would love to answer your question. But also, this video and last week's are designed to hopefully, potentially be seen by an employer. So I walked out on my job three months ago. Uh, I was unhappy there, blah blah, and I wanted something different. I was hoping it would come before I left the job, but it didn't, so I've been putting uh, resumes out to two companies so far. I've been looking for a job as a videographer, so doing sort of like what I'm doing now, adventure videos, promoting online websites is what I've been watching out for and other different types of videography jobs as well but that's what I would really like to do promote a website that's into you know the great outdoors <laughs> outdoor adventure store put a resume in for one couple of months ago I didn't get the job unfortunately it would have meant I would have had to have uh, left Victoria and got into New South Wales. It was such an exciting job. It just looked like it was me on a plate. It's everything I love doing. Yes, yeah, so it was an outdoor adventure store, and I was a bit worried when I put that resume in whether or not I'd done enough to sell myself. And yeah, it seems to have proven that way that, yeah, I didn't sell myself good enough. But I think my age went against me and that's going to be the problem right through this I think <laughs> it's going to be a hassle and it's the same with this uh, next one that would be a lot better I could work a lot at home editing and everything uh, go out onto some great locations and really promote this bit of gear that they have and show people where they can go to to have great adventures so really selling this product um, that was two weeks ago I put my resume in <laughs> I haven't heard anything and I get a little worried that I didn't promote myself enough there too but I, I did do a hell of a lot more promoting myself this time than I did last time what I've started to do now is because it's been two weeks haven't heard from them I'm sort of thinking it's time for plan B plan B is a website selling camera accessories a starting very small and then we'll build from there so you'll hear about this once I get it all started and up and running I'll involve my YouTube channel in with it 
and yeah, it's it's exciting. It's hard work, easy to set up this website, but it's so much time consuming. <laughs> That's it. Well, the sun has popped out and probably ruined everything now. I'm my head's in the sun and the rest of me isn't, so the dynamic range is probably stuffed. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's all I've got for you for today. And I hope you enjoyed this video, got something out of it, a bit of enjoyment or something, I don't know. But anyway, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and get more of this amazing stuff, click on my pretty little face to stand in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Hit the little bell, you'll get notification whenever I do anything else. And if you want to go and have a look at all the other mad and crazy things I've been doing in the past, click on my icon right here. Take it to my channel. I talk about photographing and filming wildlife in the forest environment, out in the open. Oh, came to tons of places. Uh, buy a camera equipment and give you my honest opinion on them. And also, take you on adventures. So go and have a browse. There'll be something there of interest here, I am sure. Give me the thumbs up. If you like this video, that would be awesome. Help my poor little channel grow. And always remember, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.